ChatGPT image generation is so good, I got to do another video. I want to push it hard on logic and reasoning. Firstly, I will use it to create infographics. Then the product ad, an anatomy of a teddy bear. And lastly, comic strip. Let's jump into it. I went to Claude, another smart large language model, to research the book from Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Give me the first four secrets. I took that and I pasted it into ChatGPT, create infographic with attractive colors based on this. These are the four secrets. Don't criticize, give honest appreciation, arouse in other and eager want, become genuinely interested in other people. I fed all this thing in and out comes the infographic. Pretty well done. Quite a lot of words. My next prompt was re-output the infographic with subtext not longer than 10 words. It did a nice job. Don't criticize, condemn, or complain. Give honest and sincere appreciation. Colorful infographics with just the right words. I pushed it further. Turn these key points into small signages that Lego figurines carry. The figurines should be professionals. Zoom in close. And this was the output. Brilliant. Don't criticize. And you've got a stern looking serious person, a man in hard hat, a medical professional. Brilliant. And the next test is how good is it in putting together a product advertisement? Here, I took a real picture of low country, pure honey. I took it from the internet and I put in the prompt. You are a social media manager tasked with building excitement around its signature, pure, raw, unfiltered honey. Create a poster for the advertisement promoting the honey. This was what it came up with. Simple, clean, tantalizing, local, authentic, limited edition, and the replication of the label of the bottle. Very good. The third test, more challenging. I gave it a picture of a teddy bear. Create image anatomy of bear for science class. It did its best. It came out with this picture. It got it completely wrong. The nose, the arm, all totally wrong. Maybe it needs a bit of guidance. I threw in this picture of a bear with the parts, make reference to the first image and create an anatomy of the teddy bear for my science class. It did its best, not too bad, almost there, head, ear, but it still called this the mouth and this the body, it still failed. For the third attempt, I got to give ChatGPT a helping hand. I wrote out all these body parts and I said, anatomy of a teddy bear. It couldn't generate for some reason. I tried again, create image of teddy bear with the lines and words this time. Well, it was a compromise. It took my handwriting, made it much more pleasant to the eye. At least I got the results in a cute, fun way. So the third test, so-so results, but I know it did its best and I was pushing it very hard. And for the final challenging thing, I threw in an anime picture and I asked it, write a four box comic strip with a touching story. The girl is the main character. The panels should have a dialogue. This is using Claude to write out the script. After a few iterations, finally, I liked one output. 
A girl gets lost. She never planned for the detour, but decided to take the path for a nice view that she noticed. She says, oh, wow, no wonder nobody mentioned this spot. They probably never made it here. And the last panel, sometimes getting lost is how you find exactly where you're meant to be. Beautifully put, very inspirational. I put the whole script into ChatGPT, put in this picture and got it to work it was astounding. This was what it created. Road less travel. Look at the expression. Look at the accuracy of the words. Great app crashed. I'm lost. So much for easy trail. Didn't plan for this detour. View ahead. Might be worth it. Oh, wow. Genuine excitement on her face. No wonder nobody mentioned this spot. Nobody was here before. And the final shot, sometimes getting lost is how you find exactly where you're meant to be. And it was clever to use my shot as an inspiration for the final panel. Brilliant. Now, OpenAI's new image model does not disappoint at all. It creates amazing images, handles text so well, and now I've tested, it has great logic and reasoning, astounding. That's all I've got for you today. Hope you've enjoyed my second tutorial on this GPT new image generation model. If you found this tutorial helpful, click that like and subscribe button, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Meanwhile, continue to AI on and empower yourselves. Have a good one.